We are seven games deep in the league. The top scorer in the league is one of our players, and we've only lost one game so far. Things are definitely coming up, Millhouse. Welcome back. This is uh, part six of Club Two in the Pentagon Challenge in charge of Motido Yamagata. And yep, we are looking pretty, pretty good. We are sixth in the J League at the moment as it stands. Only one loss. A couple of draws in there, but still playing pretty good football all in all. Now, before we get into what has happened so far, transfer windows shut. Some players came in, or well, one player came in at least. Um, can I ask you guys, if you are watching this and you're not yet subscribed, if you could, it would mean a lot to me. Hit that like button. I know I say at the beginning of every single episode, but it's, it's, it's what you have to do, apparently. It's what you have to do. So, anyway, let's get into it. So, um, where were we? Uh, club, the board and supporters are pretty happy. B plus, A minus. You can't get too much, um, too much better than that. Yep. We've still got 1.3 transfer budget, so when the window opens, obviously in the uh, middle of the year, which is winter, um, we will have a little bit of money and still got a fair bit of wage budget as well. So things are looking really, really good there. On the transfer side, we had uh, three players come in. Yep, three, and I actually spent a bit more money. Look at this. Look at this. We uh, we have spent it a lot of money. Um, some players who went out in the end. Uh, I think it's just a couple on loan. Yeah, not really too much there. But uh, the three players who we bought in. The first one is Narong Kong Charon. Absolutely nailed it. The Thai midfielder. Now, it's a couple of countries. Thailand is one of them. These players do not count as foreign, even though this guy has been playing in Japan. Whatever. Anyway, he is a defensive midfielder or a central midfielder. Has a lot of potential. He looks pretty decent already. So I really happen to bring this guy in. Uh, 20 years old. He's going to develop nicely. And once again, doesn't count as a foreign player. Uh, we brought in uh, Nakamura. Uh, we scouted this guy. Yes, he's 30, but he can play right back and left back, which is really, really key considering we don't get a lot of subs on the bench. And there's the tricky foreigner and homegrown at club rule, which he's not homegrown at club, but you know what? Is what it is. It's not really great at like crossing and dribbling, which, but you know what? He was 30. He was free. Um, a lot of experience in J League one uh, and a little bit in J League two there. So I thought, you know what? He can come in, comes in as a squad player and just gives us that little bit of flexibility. Uh, the last guy came in was Ezekiel Busquets, uh, right back uh, from Uruguay. This guy looks really, really special. The only problem is he's obviously foreign and that puts our foreign player count up to, can we count it? Uh, I mean, Tego Alves isn't playing too much, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven foreign players. Now I'm only allowed two of them uh, on the, uh, sorry, I'm only allowed five of them in the match day squad, so always something to miss out. But the fact that Paolo is a little bit on the old side and we've lost our young Japanese right back, I thought, yeah, maybe we can, you know, just, we can probably handle a, another foreign right back. And to be fair, there's not a lot of free um, Japanese right backs, which is really, really annoying. Uh, schedule wise, you saw us beat uh, the Red Diamonds 2-0. We're going to follow that up with a good 3-0 win over Yokohama FC. Um, a three all draw. This is a, a, a bit of a blow here. Oh, not really a blow, I guess. But we were really quite dominant against um, Kurzeo Osaka. So, but you know what? Still undefeated. Then we came and played our first leg uh, in the Japanese League Cup um, against a, I guess, a non-league time side. We played a very, very rotated team. Beat them 2-0. Uh, we then had a two all draw with um, uh, where these guys are. Uh, Kashiwa uh, Ray Soil, and now they were struggling a bit, so a two-all draw was a bit of a blow, considering how dominant we were, really, in the game, but it was Dudu in the 95th minute who saved our blushes, so frustrating there, which uh, was a bit of a blow, and that was where we lost lost Fujiwara here for a, uh, he is a torn calf muscle, he's been out for ages, still got another three months, which is a blow, because he's a decent defender, right back, midfielder, 
uh, and his homegrown at club, unfortunately. Uh, we then had a good 3 2 win over um, Shimizu S Pulse. Uh, once again, we were pretty cruisy here as well, really dominant. And we got through. Uh, our young goalkeeper is letting in a few, but you know, got a clean sheet here. Gamba Osaka, that was good considering he had a player sent off uh, in the 57th minute. Oh, they had a player sent off, sorry, sent off in the 57th minute, and they're a very good team. Uh, Nishimura, he's been playing okay, six games, seven conceded, three clean sheets. Not too bad. Remember, this is his first season in the top league. Yes, he's a good player, but he's only 20. So we've got to give him a little bit of uh, leeway here. Unfortunately, that was followed by three losses. Only one in the league, though. Uh, the team in the league cup, we lost one nil, but not a big deal. We'd already gone through. Uh, we then played uh, Shonon Belmar, who at this point in the time, that was second in the J League. So a really, really good team. Uh, and we were just really a bit flat. And obviously they had two shots on target and they both went in. Uh, Lewis uh, Yamaguchi had to fill in uh, this game as um, a young goalkeeper was injured. Uh, we then played against a J League uh, a team from the J League 3. We lost 2-0 here against Guy um, Gineri Totori. Yeah. Now that we were just terrible. And the worst thing about this is they had one shot on target and it went in and then we scored an own goal. So they scored two with one shot on target and we only had two. And these last few games, we've been a little bit flat. We haven't been able to get our shots off in that. So I thought today we'd come back and play Kashima Antlers for third and uh, Grampus for second. So, I mean, what can absolutely go wrong? A couple of tweaks to the tactic. Uh, a little bit here, we've moved the win back to defend. This guy, uh, this win back here will be attacking. Safuli is a Mazala, which is where he plays well. So if he's going to drift a little bit out wide here, that'll give us the width out here, which means Palo doesn't have to um, bomb forward so much. Dudu is going to just be a defensive midfielder on uh, defend uh, because of Iwazawa here, who plays best as a deep line playmaker, and uh, Chong and Ndongo, who is actually a top scorer in the J League on seven goals. He's awesome. He's awesome. Let's hope that no clubs realise he's got a minimum fee of two million, um, which I am actually upgrading his contract uh, with a, an upgrading that minimum fee only slightly, unfortunately. But there's not so much I can do about that. It is what it is. So we're going to submit the team. Here's the team for today. It is Nishimura in goal, Paolo, uh, our captain Fukuaka, uh, Henry O'Toole, Dudu Izawa. Uh, Salifu, but we call him Avas. <laughs> Salifu, uh, Mauricia, Ndongo, and uh, Chelsea Jung, who hasn't been too bad in that uh, pressing forward role. He's actually better on attack, but still on support's good. He has got two goals so far in the league. Randy Obi has three um, goals in one in the league, and in the cups, he's dropped down a, a little bit there as well. But we we've got a decent squad. Decent squad, so I'm really, really hoping that we can kind of just put a put a little breaks on those last couple of uh, losses, and we can uh, we can turn around winning. I know we're playing some really good teams, so it's probably going to end up in two losses. Um, but you never know. We've got to come back for these big matches. And that's what it's all about. First highlight: it is a throw in here. It is Paolo. And we are at home as well, so just that little added advantage. Um, Salifu driving forward from that Mazala role and it almost pays off that tactical tweak. That deserved to be a goal. He pushed forward really, really nicely there and uh, unfortunately couldn't get the shot on target, which is a, a bit of a blow. Uh, Kashima Antlers uh, lining up in the classic 4-4-2. Corner now for the Antlers. Whips in. A good save from Nishimura. And we clear. That's good. That's good. Still half an hour into the game. We haven't had a shot on target yet. Slightly better XG than the Antlers. We're going to come out from the back now. Nishimura, it is out to Henry. Finds our tool on the left. Plays a really, really poor pass, and we lose possession. And if I've seen enough games of Football Manager, I was going to say that's going to lead to a goal. But it's not. It's Morishima now, and his first touch has let him down there a little bit. Maybe. 
I've just realized as well in our instructions here, we have got be more expressive. I just might take that off actually. I feel like it's, I know we're playing Tiki Taka, but you know, we'll just, just tweak that a little bit with his tool and his Izuara and now and Dudu Moshima again, his first touch letting him down, which is possibly going to cost us here. That's not good. Not good. The first touch there from uh, uh, Morishima has let him know what is his first touch is nine. Haven't been overly impressed with him behind the striker. He's generally been subbed off for um, Katano. So mm, thoughts about that one is interesting. But going to halftime, even in the XG, even if in the possession, better pass completion. Unfortunately, they have that one goal. We haven't taken nearly enough shots. Come on, sort yourself out. Chung playing well, as is Izuzura. Uh, Moshima now with a free kick, stings the goalkeeper's hands, and it does go out for a corner. We have been pretty dangerous at set pieces, I feel, especially from corners. Um, hoping that that can be uh, replicated a few more times, but we've got a little bit of a chance here. Henry, Izuara, it's not the best. Poncha, just stringing passes together really, really nicely. And we aren't. I feel like we're just letting him pass the ball around here too much. Come on. Tackle him. Tackle him. Just letting him build up way too easily here. But, I mean, it is absolutely fantastic play from uh, Kashima Antlers here. Name is Sal. Mm, come on, he's offside. Please be offside. Oh. Damn it. It's been awarded. Now, I know we've got a young goalkeeper, and I know, you know, so I am taking that into account. But the fact that we've just... We were scoring really, really wonderfully, and it's just... Ugh, it's just died. It's really, really just died in, in the butt. Uh, we're going to bring on Obi here. Like I said, Morishima, he's going to come off. Uh, other than that, Connor O'Toole will take off. He wasn't fit enough to play the full game either. Uh, Nishimura is going to need some time, I think. He's just uh, he's just not quite at the standard yet, but really, really good purchase in the coming years, which, you know, this is going to be a long haul here. It's just gutting that we're 2-0 down. I could have taken a 1-0 one -nil, one -nil loss. We might actually... Can we... Um, so we are trigger pressing more often. Uh, uh, we're just going to leave it. We're just going to leave it. As, uh, as the antlers go all the way back to their goalkeeper. Seco now. Forward. Oh. Amoto. Oh, that's a poor pass. Ugh, that was that was dangerous play. Really, really dangerous play. And it has led it to an antlers corner. Takamoko clears, but doesn't go anywhere, unfortunately. I demand some more, but we just we just don't look like scoring. We just do not look like scoring at all here. Little sub there as uh, Takamine comes on for Salafu, and we just change a couple of roles around, but I don't think it's going to do much. When Dem Demand some more, who's the captain, finds his centre back partner, Henry Ayoya, out here. Takamoko. I don't know why it's going a little bit funny all of a sudden there, but anyway, do do now. That's. that's uh, Nope, good. We've picked it up. Takamoko now. Katano, and he's just dispossessed just too easily. Too easily. Jovic now driving forward, and this could be a problem. Goes all the way back. Back to Jovic. Mori has a pop, and Katana Mori scores his second of the game. And that has really, really blown out the scoreline. It's, it's so disappointing. The one shot on target is has just killed us. Like, yes, they've scored 50% of their shots, but... I'm far from pleased. Going to have to do some things with this tactic. I think it was popping off nicely at the beginning of the season. Um, 
but now it is just kind of more off the new gen there but i don't know it's just need a little bit of time to um but i'm not sure that did anything i have tweaked the, the defensive line to keep a small stand it was a lot higher up before which i wasn't sure why that was maybe why we were letting in some goals if i just drop that to mid block no oh, i don't know i don't know anyway look we do have grampus in two days which is awesome absolutely awesome we will uh, arrest all the starters i think for those two days um training rest two days right so the grampus game right so we're back for the grampus game uh just the one change it is a buskets Buskets, Buskets coming in now. He is pretty good at anywhere um, at wing back, but we might pop him on to support actually just to change that. I have tweaked. We're going to try and funnel everyone uh, into this area here um, to to just you know, yeah, because that's where we play our game in the center of the park. Anyway, yeah, so that's just the one change there. Other than that, everyone else keeps their positions. Um, mm. Morishima now form. Yeah, look, okay. Yeah, he played all right there. He's getting some assists. He's got one goal and two assists in the league. Six point nine nine. Okay, he's not playing that bad. When we're checking with Katano here, obviously it is a lot more um limited because he's just sort of coming off the bench. Seven games, one assist. So. Tough decision. We do have a lot of games coming up. This will Kobe and then the second leg in the J League. And then obviously Sapporo here as well. So he's going to get a fair bit of game time. But yes, Connor O'Toole will be fine. We'll just, you know, keep an eye on that game minutes is the word I'm looking for. Game minutes. Here we are. Match preview. We're away today. Uh, Grampus. They are looking pretty good in the league. Playing there. 4-4-2. They are... A little bit hit and miss with their form. I say that we've just literally lost four in a row and haven't won in five. So, yeah, things are looking good. We sit eighth in the league at the moment. Uh, a good win here today. Could put us up in a fifth uh, if results do go our way. But like I said, Grampus are a pretty good team sitting in fourth, and you'd be expecting them to challenge for the title anyway. As you can already see, after 15 minutes, they've had one shot on target. We've had none, but we do get the first highlight, us with the ball. Uh, and is Henry on the ball now? Just, oh, it's cheeky. That is a little cheeky move. Morishima here. His first touch has let him down a little bit. Safulu here. Dudu. They are, they, they seem to be pressing quite hard. Buskets. Jung. Jung now. Oh, Jung. That's a great goal. It's an own goal. Come on. Surely that's Jung's goal. Let's watch this. Like, Buskets here. It's, oh, it's a ricochet, but Jung here. Oh, come on. I suppose it comes off this guy here. Jung isn't really on target. That's all right. We'll take that. We'll take that. Nishimura now. Fukioka. Busquets. We provided the assist, shall we call it. Jung, who sort of scored. Mishima and Dongo. Busquets now. He's looking dangerous at wing back. Dudu has a pop. And he's denied a good goal. We're looking a lot better. It's funny how sometimes, like, the tactics just, I don't know, they don't work or just it doesn't seem to work and you change one instruction or one position and all of a sudden uh, the team looks a million times better. I mean, we haven't won this game just yet. There's still a long time ago. It's a good hour, but we just seem a little bit more up for it. Salafu on the short corner. Henry tries to get his head to it, and he got it. Is a wah? Is a wah? Dudu now. Dudu finds Busquets the right back here. He's out on the left this time. Is a wah here going back to Henry. Henry now on the ball. Okay. Fuck you. It's such a hard name. That is a really poor cool pass too. But Busquets. Salufu now. Busquets is looking really, really good down this right hand side. Saying that he's on a six point five, and he's just. Played a poor, poor pass, which lets Grampus go on a counter-attack. And Skogvod 
That Nishimura gets beaten a lot in his new post there. A lot. Corner here. Go short as I just have a drink of water. Jung. Oh! Izawa has a pop and it is very, very close. Half time. Pretty even. I mean, very even. It's one all. It couldn't be any more even. Um, so for everyone to dig in and really, really come alive here. And Dongo hasn't scored in a couple of games now, and that is really, really worrying. So I'm really hoping he can get a goal. He's our penalty taker as well, which um, when you have a look and he's got penalties of nine, it doesn't really instill um, much confidence. But he's our best penalty taker, Dudu, now as we pick up a loose ball. Oh, Morishima, that's a really crap pass. But luckily, Nishimura's head there, header, is a little bit weak. And Dongo here with a lower leg injury. Let's, let's, let's fix that quickly because I don't want that getting any worse. Randy Obi coming on now. Jung on a 6.5. That's okay. Morishima can, Morishima can also come off. 6.3 here for Salfu. I don't think he's that bad. I don't think Busquets is on a 6.4. Come on, that's that's not fair. Grampus. You go a hoof it long. Morishima now. Subs haven't quite gone through yet. The captain. Jung. Dropping forward from that pressing forward roll. Jung again. A lot of Grampus players seems to be around our guys. Dudu finds a nice pass to Jung through the middle, who drives forward, finds O'Toole, finds on Dongo, and Dongo shoots, and he's offside. And we make those substitutions now. Salafu on a yellow and on a 6.3, or cleared off the line by the man in question, Salafu. He is probably going to be the next person to come off. Salafu now. This is where we changed it around a little bit last time. We bring on uh, Takamine. He comes on and we go like this. And then he goes to a ball winning midfielder on support. And Dudu then comes to a deep line playmaker on defend. Just change it up a little bit there. I think this is a, a really rough rating for someone I thought would look pretty lively in the first half. Uh, Connor O'Toole can also come off. Still not quite up to fitness. Come on, boys. Go and make me proud. I'll take a draw against Grampus away, though. I'll take a draw 100%. Still haven't been very clinical uh, up front, which is a worry. I've got an XG over half yet uh, in this game. We are struggling to score, um, which is annoying after we started so, so well. Busquets now comes forward. Jung, Izawara, Katana, Obi. <sighs> Attack of mine. Good stuff. Katana now. Takamoto, Izawara, Jung. Jung's in here. Get in, Chelso. Celso, Jung. That could be an absolutely fantastic goal. And it is. It is a fantastic team goal. Takamoko here. Combining with Izawa Jung using his size here and just deftly just passes that ball into the back of the net. Great stuff. The captain here with a throw in finds Henry. Back to the captain. We'll just call him the captain because I'm not saying that name. Izawa. Back to the center back now. Tokomoko forward here. Katano. Katano just dropping out to the left. Tokomoko over the top. Obi had his Jung. Jung gets his second. He could be offside, though. Come on. Don't deny the young lad. Get in. Get in. This is a huge, huge game. Great stuff. Are we gonna, I was going to say, are we going to get a fourth? No, we're just going to give them the ball and make this last 10 minutes nervous as hell. Just spray the ball to the other side and just... Just keep nipping it. Oh, good stuff. Good, good. Happy with that. Nishimura looking not too bad on a 6.8. Some very tired players. You remember we've got Vissel Kobe in like two days, which is ridiculous. Anyway, Nishimura easily gathers that one. Just hold on to the ball, mate. You got Henry here at the back just saying, slow it down, slow it down. 
And it comes out to the man who's just telling the young goalkeeper to take his time. I don't know what he's doing going across the field there. Looks like he's stuck in mud. Katano, oof, tries to find Jung, but he can't. Oof, it's a wayward, wayward shot. You've got to remember as well, got a very, very young team. I say young team. It's a young attacking team. It's an old defensive team, except for the goalkeeper. So... You know, but that is a really, really good win. Finally, some goals. Chung with a double. Get in. Get in. Well done. Top quality halftime team talk, I think. And some good tactical changes now. That's actually something we should know. When Salafu came off, let's just have a look. So Salafu was substituted in the 71st minute and then we made that tactical change and we looked a lot better. So with that being said, I think a little tactical tweak here of a, this here to a ball winning midfielder on support and deep line playmaker on defend. That was just a little bit better. We still stuck with the Mazala though, didn't we? Yeah, we'll just have to work that because, yeah, I think that works well. Good. And Dongo's out for one to two days. Jung was awesome. Good stuff from the youngster. Good, good stuff. Getting a double. He's got four goals in the league for the young Brazilian, which is amazing. That's definitely a surprise. Yep, yep. And seventh. But we could push up to fifth, but obviously some results didn't go away. Yeah, Grandpa's 16. So we're only a point off of qualification i was gonna say for europe it's not europe for asian continental football and dongo needs to definitely find some form he has not scored in one two he hasn't scored in two games which is just appalling absolutely appalling right um that's good to get a win after four losses uh once again we're just gonna go away we're gonna play a bunch of games and we're gonna come back do we have any weird breaks in here i don't know it is it is a long season 38 games as well um I'm probably not interested in the league cup we'll go half a dozen games and we'll come back we might play some four teams i don't know i'll see you then but i hope you enjoyed that episode if you did do all that shenanigans i said at the beginning and i'll see you guys next time bye